I spent all evening tidying my kitchen so that I could wake up and come in here and just enjoy it. everyone. Oh, I love nothing more than a fresh layered tan Lydia staring back at me in the morning. Hello you. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I've taken a few days off um, vlogging and been just sort of getting a lot of things sorted. I've signed off something to send something to do with the brand to, well my brand, to print. So fingers crossed that's all ready to kind of go, which is nerve wracking. Really nerve wracking because literally I've seen, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's a lot and I'm, I'm really nervous, but I'm also really excited. So um, yeah, we're like working on other things at the moment as well, but um, yeah, it's just one of those times, isn't it? Where you're just, it's so uncertain, but um, I know that I'm not gonna grow from feeling complacent. I'm not going to grow as a human by always doing the same things. And I have to be scared of things in order to grow as a human. So it's a good thing that I'm scared and I'm nervous. That's a good thing. We've also had um, like progress with other things that we've been working on, both Ali and I as like a separate thing to what we do online. And so it was a really exciting week last week and we had a little cheers with a glass of wine and it was lovely. So yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a good time, but um, I appreciate that not everything should be shared on online and it's probably not the time for me to be sharing anything else so in terms of what we're doing aside from that so yeah in this video last night basically i spent um my evening tidying and cleaning my kitchen because i just wanted it to be wonderful for when i woke up in the morning and just walked in there and it made me feel so good and positive and happy and so i'm kind of going to continue that I've, I've bought a few little home bits as well for dressing things up because the thing with my house now is that aside from like um the games room it's pretty much done. We've had a few consultations via phone, obviously, with regards to our garden as well. Um, we've kind of learned a lot about the garden. So um, we're gonna chat about that because I want to get all of my garden furniture ready. Um, I know that my dining table out there needs a big clean. We need to get the parasol out and the cushions and things like that and just give everything a good clean down. So it's a little bit of a home haul, a little bit of a, of a sort of rejuge and a bit of a tidy and just some feel good home stuff because this is the stuff that I do when I'm like I need to feel homey and and happy and content and everything because we're obviously it's there are multiple people who make our house work and you need to have like gardeners in our house you need to have like a cleaner and stuff like that and we don't have those so Ali and I are now learning how to do it all ourselves and it's really quite um interesting how we're doing it at the moment we've come up with this kind of method of basically every night when we finish work now we clean a room and we do it together and it's so quick and it means that you're constantly working through things but you're never kind of dragging your feet because it happens so quickly like if you do the whole house it's a lot and it means that things kind of tick over so um yeah it's working quite well uh my nails oh my goodness my nails need doing so badly but i'm at that point where you like it was exciting when i first did it and it's not really that exciting anymore, is it? So, but they look disgusting and they're so long that like I'm touching things and they're bending. You know when a nail bends. Ugh. I also had some, so, like I had some boxes arrive. That's why I'm still in my dressing gown. Uh, I had some boxes arrive from Reese. Basically I had my um, stuff arrived for a project that I'm working on, but I was worried that it wasn't gonna arrive. So I just ordered a load of stuff from there as well. So I'm gonna send back whatever I like got duplicates of, but I know that I ended up buying way more because I just love their stuff. I've also got a load of boxes. Like honestly, I, I feel like a lot of like birthday gifts have been arriving late 
and I haven't been opening them because I, I'm working so much during the day and I know that everyone thinks that work isn't work with what we do but I have been working a lot during the day so I'm just kind of like pushing boxes to one side and I'm like I'll deal with it later and they've kind of mounded up I, and like I always say I don't want to just sit here and unbox things so we are going to be doing some some stuff today and it is supposed to be a very very beautiful day here in the UK and that fills me with so much joy and so much happiness. I want to put on a pretty summer dress and I want to enjoy my home and just feel good. Um, one of the things that I've been doing also on my Instagram, I don't know um, if you follow me on Instagram and I hate to always like plug my other platforms. I have been sharing a lot of the things that have been inspiring me recently because I went away and I, and I took all of your feedback on board about the whole TikTok thing. And I actually feel like for me, I'm, I'm inspired. That's when I work my best, when I'm inspired. And the one place that inspires me is Pinterest. And I've never really understood how you use Pinterest to its full capacity. I just use it in the way that it most inspires me. And that's through written words and home and interiors. And I feel like I've learned a lot about interiors from Pinterest. So I've started sharing my little mood boards from Pinterest to my Instagram account so that people can see what I'm like doing and um, what I like, but also quotes that speak to me. Um, so I thought that, I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably forget that I've been doing this and that I've said I'm gonna do this, but when I remember, I want to share the quotes that I've been talking about on my uh, channel because, well, on my Instagram, because they really, like they lift me up and I know that they lift a lot of you guys up as well. So I thought maybe you might want to hear. So this one is a bit of a long one today. Sometimes they're short, sometimes they're long. But this one is called, I think it's brave. And it says, I think it's brave that you get up in the morning, even if your soul is weary and your bones ache for a rest. I think it's brave that you keep on living, even if you don't know how to anymore. I think it's brave that you push away the waves rolling in every day and you decide to fight. I know there are days when you feel like giving up, but I think it's brave that you never do. And that's by Lana Raffaella. And honestly, I think I just, I loved it. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, oh, my IGTV has uh, just gone up. So I'm just gonna push that live quickly. I've been working on that whilst I've been getting ready. So multitasking. <laughs> Okay, one failed attempt at the IGTV, but it's up. Um, I'm gonna link them as well, because I don't know if I've um, told you about this on here. If I have, please just let me know. But what I've been doing is a few little get ready with me's whilst um, I'm obviously in self-isolation. I basically do my makeup with you in the morning, but also show you my outfit for that day. This is the most recent one. And um, this dress is from Sleep. I wore it in my last video and it's just a... That was my tummy, FYI. Um, but this dress <laughs> is just the most beautiful dress and um, it's just gorgeous and I wore it in my last video but it makes me very happy. So um, if you want to go and see me do a little sunset golden eye, then it's all over there basically. Mr. Millen Gordon has a boot full of food and he is backing up into the house. Oh, look at the light in here such a dream. As you can see, I haven't had a chance to get into those boxes yet, so I'm still in my dressing gown. We're gonna get all this put away because we're just kind of stocking up. Um, we're still not able to get any delivery slots on um, Asda, so we're at least having to go and do a food shop, like in shop, which is obviously not ideal because we don't want to be going to the food shop places at the moment, but we know that everyone's kind of doing their best and just creating systems so that we're as safe as possible, so. Oh my goodness, he's a cheat unachievable and managed to get me gluten-free flour. I can go back to baking stuff that isn't going to make me poorly. This makes me so happy. I'm going to put these into my little refillable jars straight away because oh this makes me so happy. It's amazing the things that you sort of um the, th the small things that make you happy nowadays, like being able to get your flower, like once all of those small things are taken away, you begin to appreciate those little things just a little bit more. And it's actually very lovely. You got me gluten-free flour, babe. Yeah, I'm having pasta though. Oh, that's okay. Shouldn't be having pasta anyway. <laughs> got me chocolate, didn't he? Yes, go team. So oh, you got me garlic as well. Oh, babe, you're so good. Snack pop. Oh, we've got garlic. It's not garlic that we need. What is it? Ginger. 
Oh, I've got you loads of three pop dragons on there. Oh, but it's the ginger puree. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Ooh, gluten free pizzas! Yeah. Oh, babe, you've spoiled me. You Oh, no. <laughs> Ginger. But apparently everyone's been raving about this one, this 19 crimes. So I think that'll be getting it's supposed to be a lovely weekend, so we're gonna give that a try. Lemons! These are going straight in the wine fridge. This little contraption here makes me very happy, especially now that it works. <laughs> Right, I need somewhere safe to set you up. I'm just gonna rummage in these boxes quickly. Um, I'm not looking to, to do a, a sort of haul with you. Not yet, anyway. So in this little package, I've got like three here. One's the Reese order that I made and one is um, sent from the brand. This, I believe, is from a brand called The Doll's House. And I have followed this brand on Instagram for I'd probably say the best part of I don't know like three years maybe on and off but I have known about them for a bloody lifetime and they offered to send me some items from their collection and they have such beautiful items I just thought this suit oh such a gorgeous little although I think these might be too big for me oh I don't know I'm gonna try them on this is like a little suit get up I'm gonna put them to one side. And then, in here, oh, this is like a little, oh, this is so beautiful. This is a little skirt and top set, which is real sort of, a, it gives me kind of goddess vibes, but um, I will uh, link their website and their Instagram in the description box because this stuff is just gorgeous. And I'll try and get a picture of me in this for Instagram because obviously I'm sharing pretty much like daily outfits and I'm just getting dressed up and loving getting dressed up and it's just yeah it's lovely I it makes me feel nice just putting something nice on even if I don't wear it the whole day and it's not too comfortable to wear out of the house it's just nice putting something nice on and it makes me feel good so um I've been fully enjoying that I'm gonna try the suit on as well because I think it's something that you need to really get a feel for oh there's a choker as well is that a choker Pop that to one side. Now, I'm gonna get my dress on for the day, but it's in one of these Reese packages. So this is the stuff that they've sent. Okay, yeah, so they sent three items, and I, these are all items that I've ordered myself. So I'll just send those ones back from my order. I think I ordered 17 items from Reese. <laughs> oh, I got myself, I thought I didn't get myself this blouse. Oh, I... I'm glad I got it, it's beautiful. It's like a little mint blouse. I bought so much stuff. So as you can see, I ordered the black dress. I also ordered, is this what I ordered? Yep, so I ordered this, which is, I can't remember what Alba is. Elba, Alba, whatever it is, I ordered two of those. So that can go back in this box. And then also this jumpsuit, I ordered, Rosalind, is this Rosalind? Rosalind, is that you? Oh no, I don't think that's Rosalind. No, that's Adrian. Rosa. It's got two different names here. Oh, maybe I didn't order that one. Oh, thank goodness then, because I wanted this. Oh, I'm so confused. So this is the jumpsuit. This is the jumpsuit that I wanted. So they've sent the dress of the top, which is not what I wanted. Oh, poop sticks. So that I'll keep, I'll send back to them. Right, let's get this dress on because I need to get dressed. It's making me feel anxious being set. So this I thought would be such an easy to wear linen dress. And um, also I don't have to worry about tidying, uh, tidying, I don't have to worry about ruining it because it's black. So I always also think that you need some black linen. White linen is my like savior. Black is the practical one, but my whole life is just, I just love linen. Linen is my obsession.
I think it's safe to say that those doors are getting opened up today because it is glorious. I am going to open the home bits that I purchased. I don't know what these are gonna be like. I hope they're nice, but let's see. So the first thing that I've unboxed are the, these little sets of three, I think it's acacia wood, is that how you say it? Please correct me in the comments um, if it's not. But um, I bought these box, these little ball, <laughs> these little balls on um, of, of the internet and I thought that these would be really lovely for our like wine, woo, our wine and cheese nights. We can put little bits of olive oil in them, little olives and crisps and things like that because we don't have a lot of these little serving bowls and I think that these are very very beautiful so I got two sets of these which will come in really handy. I'll link them in the description box down below for you um, but I'm actually on the hunt for bigger ones as well like I want some big ones for these cubby holes uh, up there in the recycling. Um, in here I'm not I'm not certain these may go back these were expensive. Ooh. So I wanted to bring a bit more of the blue to here. And I found these bowls, which look like uh, the bowls, like similar to the vase. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. My, my mind instantly goes wild with like um, ideas. I think it's going to look really nice in here and this will, make, this will make such a nice little salad bowl or a big pasta bowl for when we're having like lunches in the garden and stuff like that so i really really like this oh, i'm happy with that these were these were expensive but um i think they go really well i did get two but i don't know if i need to so let me know what you think let's move this out of the way because i was thinking of getting some bigger bowls like these to potentially go in these shelves as well but this one could go in the middle and then the mugs can be on a better shelf, potentially. What do we think of that? Oh, I think it looks quite nice, you know. Well, it is sunny and bright out here. I thought I'd come and talk you through some things in the garden. I mean, I think I might be biting off more than I can chew a little bit at the moment, but I just want to get cracking on this, this patio and um, Ali's going to be pressure washing it. So I don't know whether to just like give him a helping hand, put on my trainers and just kind of help him out a little bit and give it a sweep. He says he's going to pressure wash this as well, but I'm going to get him to get the parasol out today because it just looks sad. I also want to get this like a little lazy Susan to go on top of it. I think that'd be really nice. But yeah, as mentioned, um, we had a little discussion phone call with a, um, a landscape garden and we like took him around the garden on like FaceTime and we realized very very quickly that actually not very quickly at all he spent a very long time on it um, it's probably gonna cost us too much I think kind of with everything that we find in this house um, it's gonna cost us too much to put right the things that sort of should have been done initially like the lawn being leveled off and things like that that could have been done um, and in order to do that it's going to be quite a lot of work in order to put the little thing that we wanted to put in like I love that but in order to connect it to this patio so that it's like accessible it's just going to cost way too much um, we'd have to put in like walls and things like that and it's just it's sad but um, it's something that we can live without the cost of. We can live without it because it's just something that would have been nice if it was feasible, but it's just not feasible. So unfortunately, no outdoor fireplace for Lydia, which is sad. But what we're gonna do is um, sort the patio out because the patio is gonna cost us a lot as it is. Um, we were thinking about potentially do it, redoing the patio and getting a different uh, slate put down because this is um, not what we would go for uh, but I think that might cost a bit much as well we're going to look into it and have a think um, and what we what we think we're going to do is just give this a massive spruce up big jet wash I want to find some old like planters some stone planters I've been looking 
on Facebook Marketplace for some sort of stone planters. I'd like to get like probably four of them. So I need to find a bit of a set of four because you can get them so much cheaper on there, which is just brilliant. So that's the kind of thing that I want to be able to do is to like find old things and use them here because that's the beauty of where we live because we've got like this, obviously our house is new, um, but we've got this, like everything around it is quite old. So it does sort of lend itself quite well. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> But it does sort of lend itself quite well to combine the two, especially in the outside area. So um, I've got stuff all over my feet, but yeah, it's just making me sad that my patio is not ready and we've got this beautiful sun at the moment. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably change out of my restress because this is probably too nice to be doing gardening work. I don't know. And I don't really want to get strap marks. So um, I'll put one of my little bando, bando boohoo dresses on that I use for sundresses. Although I'm worried it might fall down when I'm like moving my arms and stuff. So anyway, what we're, what we're thinking about doing, let me show you, because I've never really shown you sort of like down the side of the house. So yeah, I think what we might do, because we, we've got two areas of wood chip, we might keep like this one because just in case there's a family after us in this house and they want a little wood chip area, maybe we'll keep that one. But we are gonna turf over um, this one. Well, we're kind of gonna turn the soil over and allow the, the wildness to sort of take it over. We're gonna get rid of this path because that's not really necessary at all. Probably maybe extend this patio as well out a little bit um, and make this sort of the barbecue area maybe. And then just let it sort of be a bit wild. Down here is the place that I'm sort of focused on now though I really want to get this area sorted can you see down there I don't know if you can the little courtyard down there that's what we want to sort of um, focus on we'd also love to put a little outbuilding there because we are finding that we're needing an outbuilding a little bit more and more and that's just a little shed full of spiders yeah I'd quite like to put some put an outbuilding somewhere but it's so difficult around here so I don't know but yeah so I think I'm gonna give this a little bit of a brush and I'm very excited for all of these weeds to be gone at some point as well this is exciting my rose bush is getting very close to flowering all over this little sort of pergola perg pergola pergola perg 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 what <laughs> so that should flower soon I think and all, all of this stuff is coming to life so it's lovely oh looks like the birds have, have uh, done done alley again <laughs> but I also maybe want to try and get some things that will grow up the house I think if we could get something like imagine something growing up this little area it'd make it a lot more sympathetic as well to the area maybe we can do that what grow let me know what plants grow sort of quite quickly um because we've got some that are growing on the side of the house in fact let me put some shoes on let's go around there i'll show you them obviously i don't show you the front of my house for obvious reasons i will um show you the side <laughs> and one of the other reasons we can't do this is because we need to redo the walls for our gates because they're basically like falling down again another job not done properly Ooh. There's definitely a spider's web there. Let's go a different route. <laughs> By the way, my wreath still smells amazing. Still smells amazing. So these are the plants that we've got that are being sort of trained to climb up our house. And we've got another one down here. Let me show you. Hello Tinkerbell, where you been? You've been being horrible to people as usual. Yeah. Yes, you good girl. So yeah, we've got it over here as well but if you think about it we've been here for two years and the people that were here before <laughs> what are you doing mm, giving mummy some cocola mm. um yeah so if you think about it these have been up for a while and in two years even if this is all they've grown in two years it's not really a lot is it <laughs> and so we kind of want a little bit something that's going to grow a bit quicker but um yeah maybe i'll go and do some i'm going to do some instagram stories i think on the home account and uh see what everyone's thinking look at this bush as well oh these beautiful purple flowers when this blooms it's just amazing it looks incredible i can't wait yeah so let me know what you think especially if you know anything about like climbing climbing plants or anything like that let me know um and also if you know of anywhere that's good to get stone pots like i really want them to be stone because obviously what we're saving in what we're not doing in the garden i can spend some money to have nice pots because i think that's really important like big stone planters on the patio um and i think that will at least sort of give it a little bit of a zhuzh 
you know what I mean? You won't believe it, but I've just had another delivery of flowers. These were again from the Elizabeth Arden team and they're another bunch of peonies. <laughs> I think that because they were late, I think one of the girls from Arden was a bit upset so maybe they sent another bunch just in case the, uh, the other ones didn't arrive. So I'm combining them all because these ones are sadly not making it very far. Um, a little bit sad, so I'm going to combine all of the peonies into one small vase here and um, pop them somewhere. day and the sun is starting to get low. I've also been looking on all of the sort of reclaimed things and I definitely think we need an urn there and an urn there and I've spoken to my gardener and when he comes back I'm going to be getting because I asked on Instagram stories for climbing recommendations and people said wisteria or um what's it called a clematis climbing clematis um, but he thinks I'll like either of those they also said a uh, climbing hydrangea but he didn't think I'd like that so um, we're gonna look at those so basically I'm gonna start sweeping the patio because it looks horrendous uh, but then tomorrow it should be getting um, pressure washed by Mr Millen Gordon which is very exciting cardigan on because it's a little bit chilly now but it definitely looks a lot better <laughs> what are you doing I can't do any more I've got calluses on my hand yeah I've done to like here and I started here I also needed you to move this because I can't move that you said that you weren't working late tonight so Come on. But yeah, it's looking a lot better. And do you know what? I was a bit sort of like deflated the other day because I was thinking that we were going to need to have a new patio. But do you know what? This patio is lovely. It just looked really shabby because it was covered in all of this dirt. Like look at all of this dirt. And that's not even half of it. It just needs to get all of the grout sort of cleaned up. Once that's done and once we get these little pots to go either side here, it's going to look blooming lovely. Also when the cushions are out, when the parasol is up, it's going to look lovely. So um, yeah, I'm feeling really good. Let me just grab my water bottle. I need to start making some dinner now. But I've got calluses on my hands. I'm not cut out for this, to be honest. Oh my gosh, I've got a blister. Look, I've got a blister, my poor hand. I'm going to put lots of hydrating moisturiser because I do not want to get calluses. Oh. And I've taken the skin off there. <laughs> All of the trolls are going to be like, oh, you're having to do a full day's work. <laughs> but no, it's, it's filled me with confidence and made me a lot happier. I think I was feeling a little bit deflated about the patio because you never want to pay to have something done, like redone, when it kind of looks all right still. But now that I've given it a bit of a spruce, it looks a lot better and I'm so much happier. Oh, oh dear. I am just sat here researching recipes that I'm going to make tonight and the door has just gone. Oh, right, opening my birthday present. What's the date today? 22nd of April. <laughs> just a little bit late then. <laughs> better late than never. Also, very big box. But never late is better. <laughs> very big box for a pen. <laughs> well, yeah, it is actually, isn't it? But it's because they'll come with all of their, like, Cartier. Yeah, and their the authentication. Yeah. I'm very excited. Wow, big box. <laughs> Oh wow, look how snazzy it is. Very snazzy. All the authentication papers, and then all of that box. This tiny little one. Oh, I don't even want to open it, it's got the wax seal. Mm. I love things that come with a wax seal. That's something I wish we'd done on our wedding invites. Yeah. Done a wax seal. Yeah. Just have to get married again. Yeah, get those wax seals going. <laughs> well worth it. 
Or we could just send everyone an envelope with a wax uh, thank you for attending <laughs> our wedding. Can you hover it over? Oh, I want to see it. I want to see what this is all about. Very nice. Lovely box. Can you imagine opening it? It's my fan. Or the wrong colour. Wow. The top's a lot bigger than I thought, actually, the lid. Oh, wow. It is heavy. Yeah, it's real. Real, real McCoy. Real silver. Oh, wow. That is very smart. And then you screw like your oh, yeah. bracelet to get to, to get the refill in. To get the refill. Oh wow! Oh, so have the thing. No, it doesn't. I'll, I'll use refills. I'll use the one that I've got upstairs. Why don't you practice just doing the on here on that paper? I hope it makes me write like a dream because I've got all the worst handwriting. Does it feel nice? Yeah, it does. It feels very nice. Yeah. It works. It works. Oh, it's going to look very nice on my um, can't diary. Can't lose that. No, I can't. It goes with your watch and everything. I know. I, I like the blue, the blue bit on the tip. I don't know if they're going to be able to see it. It'll stand in the light though. Take it to the window. You'll actually see it. You can see a little bit there. Good. I'm glad you like it. I love it. Thank you Good so thing. much, babe. <laughs> so, we've established that I'm going to spend the evening in the kitchen and I'm going to cook us loads of um, meals and do a big old batch cook. And Ali is going to finish off sweeping the patio for me because I've actually got a blister on my hand. Look at that. Once he's done the patio, he's going to go into the bedroom and tidy the bedroom. And he was like, oh no! I've not put on the bed sheets. And I was like, oh, don't worry. It's, we've got another set anyway. He's like, no, no, no. But even the undersheet hasn't gone on. And I was like, oh, he's like, do you know what? Do you know why it didn't happen? I was like, why? And he said, because I went into the bedroom to get the other pillowcases and I got distracted because I made Lumi a den. <laughs> oh dear, love the insight into how his brain works. <laughs> but yeah, this is getting a, a clean today because we're implementing our new cleaning method for tackling the house. Right, I've been searching for some recipes, but I think that I generally have the same ingredients. So I'm gonna do the pasta sauce that I made because I loved that. That How nice was that pasta sauce? Good. He's oh. chasing her. He wants a little Jimmy Rag. <laughs> Jimmy Rag. I love how you make up your own cockney rhyming slang. That's what he's going for. It disappeared. She, she, she flew off and he was like, I'm coming. They've disappeared into the undergrowth. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make pasta sauce. I also need to bake with these bananas. Um, I know that the whole world and their dog are making banana bread. So I have been trying to search for something different, but pretty much if you've got ripe bananas, you make banana bread <laughs> and that's about it. Um, so I'm gonna do that and just cook loads and loads of veg and get us lots of goodness to eat. Yeah, so I'm gonna make Probably my root vegetable hot pot, the vegetable pasta sauce, and I think that's probably it. Oh, there's a minestrone that I can make as well. Yeah, maybe I'll make a minestrone as well. Might as well. Three dishes. Oh gosh, I'm biting off more than I can chew. It's just everything's so quick in the Thermomix. It's so easy. Anyway, let's get going with this. This is my little mini cooking station. We're doing the first part of the recipe, and this is the onions. I think they're just being sort of like sauteed. I don't know if that's, yeah, sauteing. I think that's how you say it. I have no idea, but that's the little cooking station. Good food app. Personally, for me, the Thermomix is like the the like cooking without brains. I find the the BBC Good Food um, app quite confusing. Oh, oh, yeah. I find it quite confusing because you get some real uh, recipes on there. I make a. Uh, a Asparagus risotto, so easily. And I tried to make a butternut squash risotto from the BBC Good Food app. And honestly, it was the most, pardon my French, twatty recipe I've ever tried to do. And I just ended up ruining it because I just poured in loads of wine. I was like, screw it. But yeah, it was just, sometimes you just get people that really kind of compliment, 
complicate what are supposed to be quite simple recipes and um, obviously I'm just moaning because I couldn't do it. Um, but I just find this thing, I know it's probably really noisy, sorry, um, but it's, um, I just find this so easy, like it just tells me what to do and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of like fail safe and you don't have to spend hours chopping because it does it all for you and um, it literally does everything step by step. Obviously it's limiting in other aspects because there's only so many recipes on the app and I use the Cookie Do app. Um, you pay a subscription for it. That's why I never really give my recipes because it just tells me what to do in the Thermomix. I don't know how you would translate that onto a normal hob. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I thought I'd just give you a little rundown there. Um, right, next recipe. Now I might actually do two of these. I might do a butternut squash one and a potato one. Um, I've never done a potato one, but we've got lots of potatoes. So, we'll work with what we have. But we also have a lot of butternut squash. This is a pile of veg for the next dish. That is chiming away because it's ready. And Mr. Mill and Gordon is sweeping the patio. Yay! Honestly, I cannot tell you how good this vegetable pasta sauce is. It's one of my favorite, favorite sauces that I've ever had. Honestly, so, so good. And I just basically decant into dishes. I'm gonna do two so that it will be two portions per one pot. Let me bring you down a little bit. Like this, down here. Pop the lids on and let them cool down. And now, the next dish. Lego. Actually, no, I've got to wash up the um, thingy. I should really get another one of these so that I can do two at once. That would be good. That is a lot of cooking. I have cooked three meals. I only have two to show for myself because we ate one of them, which was a butternut squash and chickpea pasta. I've also got a banana bread in the oven. This is Victoria's recipe. I took it from her blog. I'll link it down below. I saw her make this in one of her videos and I thought that sounded better than mine. So, hello. Sorry, I'm like, oh, at the moment. Yes. What? Why? <laughs> you just walked into that, you silly sausage. You walked into the dishwasher. If you did. You want coconut oil, don't you? Wow. Yes, you do. You already have a spoon in this one. This is Lumi's special one. Okay. Now, enough. Good girl. Good girl. Down you get. Good job. I'm going to disinfect these surfaces now. They are filthy. Filthy. literally like nothing ever happened except for those Tupperware boxes that need to get put away. The banana bread is out of the oven and it's cooled. I think I may have over egged it just a little bit. I took it out at 35 minutes because I know that I have a really um, strong oven. It looked good. I was just, I just thought, just whack it back in for another eight. And this is my problem. I do this all the time. Didn't need another eight. So I'm hoping that there's still enough kind of moisture in there. But Ali and I are going to do the taste test now, so. But it actually looks darker on camera. I pinky swear it's not actually burnt. It's just a dark brown. It's like a, oh, it's like a chocolate brown. It definitely isn't black. I'll show you in the morning, okay? Because this is, this is doing me here on this camera. It does, it is not a charred log. <laughs> I always have the end bit. I want the crunchy bit, I love it. Let's go this end. 
<laughs> looks crunchier. Oh no, actually it doesn't. This end is crunchier. in the shower so I'm gonna do the taste test without him. Mm. So this is way more like bready but with just enough sweetness to kind of and, and like texture to just satisfy your sugar craving. Because if you think about it, the sweet things that are in this are the honey and the bananas and that's a that's about it. So there's no sugar, there's no flour. So this should be pretty, pretty good. Not good, well, maybe good for you because it's got coconut and almonds and cacao nibs and lemon. I like it, I really like it. And I think that this is actually a really good option if you don't want to have like actual cake. I'm very proud of my friend. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh my gosh, it's been such a busy morning. I need to put all my jewelry back on. I've just been filming a um, video for Bulgari. I just ran upstairs. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm putting everything away and tidying everything away. Um, it was a big old like haul of clothing and Reese bits and beautiful bits and a beautiful handbags. But I had to take off all my all my jewelry, understandably, because Bulgari it has their own jewelry line. Um, so I had to take it all off. And this reminds me that I still need to put all my jewelry on from when I had my um, laser treatment. So let's get that back on. Today is a good day because I've just had a phone call from the framers and it's also um, an art place. And um, basically, I've been trying to get hold of them. They've been trying to get hold of me. I put two pictures in to be framed whilst, um, well, before all of this happened, basically. Let me just get my screw to screw these on. And he phoned me, and I don't know what's wrong with my mailbox at the moment, my mailbox doesn't work. So he was phoning me and, I, and he wasn't getting through to me, and I didn't know when he phoned, and I didn't have their number, and it was all a bit of a nightmare, <laughs> of course. And then he just rang me today and he was like, um, we've been missing each other. And I was like, yes we have. He's like, I'm gonna drop your art off to you, is that okay? And I was like, that's perfect. Oh my gosh. So um, he's gonna be dropping my new bits of art, which, oh my gosh, these frames. I spent so much money on the frames because for me, framing something is so important. I'm actually so annoyed that I didn't take my um, large fancy room filled with crap thing that I got made into a little print. Um, I'm, I'm annoyed I didn't take that to be framed. So he's gonna be dropping it off. I haven't eaten all day, not because I'm not trying to eat, but you know when you're like really busy and you just don't have time? This Chinook is, it is a Chinook, whoa! They, do you know what Chinooks remind me of? The BFG, have you seen the BFG? It's when they like fly the, the giant in. Oh, it's, yeah, reminding me of my childhood. Uh, the patio is also currently being um, pressure washed by my lovely husband and so that's all gonna be ready for the weekend I cannot wait for a glass of wine tomorrow you have no idea but this is turning into a little bit of a home haul and the garden is almost ready in terms of like just getting out there and everything being perfect so that's really really exciting <sighs> so my little wedding necklace and my rose quartz I need to put on I'm surprised I haven't really felt that I've not been wearing my rose quartz the lovely shot isn't it hi guys <laughs> it looks like a bomb's gone off in that cupboard. Here we go. Oh, I need to take this off. I forgot I'm still wearing the Bulgari necklace. Now for my rose quartz, this is probably, well, I mean, all of my pieces of jewelry mean so much to me. Like, that's why I don't take them off. They're not like, they're not fashion things to me. Jewelry isn't fashion. Every piece of my jewelry means something and has like sentimental value. And that's why I, I'm like, I'm always happy to spend money on um, jewelry because for me, all of my jewellery means just, it just all has a little bit of meaning and I bought it for a reason. Either my husband bought it for me or I bought it. Now, funny story, I ended up getting two bunches of very beautiful pink peonies from the Elizabeth Arden team and they are still going strong, like, must be over a week now. And then I got my third box of flowers from one company. This is called Flower Box. I've never had flowers from them before. And I opened them and I was like, oh my goodness, have they sent me a third bunch? And I thought Elizabeth Arden had sent me a, another bunch, but actually it's from 
the team at me and M, and that's just so sweet of them. Oh, that's so nice. And it, funnily enough, I've actually got a dress that I was wearing today. I'm, I'm currently in my Reese one because I put it on for a picture, but I've got a dress that I was wearing earlier and I'm going to go and put it back on because it was so comfortable. And obviously this one needs to be washed because I actually wore it yesterday. Let me go put that dress back on so I can show you at least. Not because they've sent me peonies, but I was genuinely wearing it. I pinky promise. And then I wore it in the hall that I filmed today as well. This is the me and M dress that I was telling you about. It's a really nice kind of white jersey material, but there must be some linen in, in it, I think. It feels like it's got kind of like a linen jersey mix or something, but this is so comfortable. Like even more comfortable than the Reese one because this one is softer than the linen, even though I love like the full linen one. It comes in black as well. Um, it does look like it would be quite see-through, but I generally just wear um, nude underwear and you just, you can't see anything. So perhaps, that's the key to this dress, but I don't know. But I think it's really cute and perfect for wearing around the house because it fits my criteria for a summer dress. Ta -da! I have literally just spent the best part of an hour freaking out that I couldn't find these because I was sure that I'd put them in that handbag there. And when I looked in there, I couldn't see them. It's because they were hidden by the blooming authenticity card. We found them. So back on my wrist. They can go and oh my gosh, I'm doing my nails today. Right, I'm collecting up all of my things because tonight's video is about to go live. I also need to do the dishwasher, I need a washing machine, but very excitingly, two things have just arrived and I'm so excited. Ali's listening to the Lighthouse family, so I'm trying to drown it out with my voice. <laughs> oh wow, the patio is all done. I need to clean my table. Look at that little guy running across the grass. I think, is that a grouse or a female um, pheasant? I think it's a female pheasant. Oh, the patio looks amazing. Oh, wow, look, all of the stones have been cleaned. It looks like new. Oh, wow, so I just need to give this a little clean down, get all of the cushions out. This makes me very, very happy. I was honestly, I know I said this the other day, I was just so convinced that we had to have a new patio laid. And this patio, again, just like everything with this house, hasn't been laid great, but it still looks wonderful. It does, it's still such a wonderful patio, so I'm happy. Look at these. Oh, I need to get them out of there, the, the plastic. I can't, th this makes me wanna cry. They look so perfect in their frames. Oh, let's get them out, let's get them out. Oh. So this is the print from Brian Hanlon and this is in a handmade and hand painted frame. Oh my gosh, this is gold leaf that's been brushed into it. For me, when I find art that I love, framing it is the fun part. Like I love, love, love finding the most perfect and the most complimentary frame. That sounds like such a geeky thing, but I really, really do. It just, it brings it to life and then like ties it in with your home as well. Oh, it's so perfect. Now let's get this little guy unwrapped. Well, well, well. Part of me really wants to put this one underneath the window there on the stairs because I think it will tie the gold one at the, at the top of the third floor, uh, first floor, sorry, third floor. I always think of it as three floors, but it's basement, ground, first. <laughs> um, I've had both of these framed with art glass as well, which is really important. I didn't even realize how important this was, but it means that you're able to actually see the paintings and prints or whatever properly. You can see them better. There's no reflections off lights and off of windows and things like that. I've also had them double mounted. In fact, no, I had this one single mounted, but this one I went for a double mount because I was feeling bougie, apparently. Oh, it makes me just want to go and buy more art now. <laughs> oh, Ali's got a new pair of trainers. We're just going to try and see what this one looks like where I was thinking there, because this wall's just a little bit bare, but it's strange because there's a window there, so it's a bit of a, an odd one. But this... I think the back might look better, but it's still there. See what you're Oh, it's lovely. I, I honestly think that looks great. Yeah, let me just hold this on for the... For the sake of the vlog. Let us know in the comments which well, you prefer. Well, I think prefer. this one will look more clean keeping because the stairs. Yeah, but th that to me is more of like a sort of... Mm, I think the other one. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's lost. That one pops on the... On, on the Thingy. All right, muscles. Actually, it does look nice, yeah. I know! 
Yeah. Ties in nicely, actually. Never thought of having a piece of art there. I know. I thought I'd hate it, but actually, I think that that's such a perfect place. Because the thing is, is with all of these, I just, like, they bring me so much joy that I want them to be in places that I see, see them. See them all the time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. I can't tell you how excited that made me when he was dropping it off. And <laughs> I was like, I thought he was going to tell me, oh, come, come around sometime this week. And he was like, oh, we're there in about an hour. Well, I mean, he wasn't an hour, he's like, yeah, it's good. But. Lovely. Well, I'll hang it now. <gasps> The picture is up and looking very beautiful. We're now out in the garden. We've got to try and get all of this uh, back onto the patio. Look how good the patio looks. Oh my goodness. Looks like we've got a new one. Yes, I've got my dressing gown on because it's a little bit chilly out here. So I'm gonna put you down there and give Ali a helping hand. sitting in the garden having a brainstorm about what we're gonna do in the garden <laughs> it's very garden heavy this uh this vlog i have lost all track of time it is 10 past nine and i have just finished doing my nails it feels amazing to not have long nails oh i cannot tell you how much i hate having long nails but it takes so long oh i take my hat off to every nail technician everywhere you make this look so easy and it has taken me about three hours to do not even a proper manicure <laughs> sad times anyway i'm gonna get all of this stuff away and bask in the glory that is my nice fresh nails <sighs> For those that may ask, I have the C&D bare chemise on my nails. This is my lamp as well. I got it from Amazon and it's really good because you charge it up and it's cordless. So I've been using this at my dining table and it's been working great. I thought that I would just show you my nails and sign off of this vlog because it has been one of those vlogs where apparently I have verbal diarrhea and it all comes out in this video and I apologize for that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna quickly sign off and pick up my vlogging camera for a very wine-fueled weekend. I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.